kept on going down. Y'all tried chasing him? Yeah, he went low down, he hit us, and then he turned, and then we turned right after him. Blue paint transfer and everything. When you guys okay. are on my private property, Listen, you're not oh hearing uh, We'll go ahead and do it. I've never been f- arrested in my life. You're being charged with hate crime. On May 29, 2022, the Austell Police Department swiftly responded to a distressing hit-and-run incident in Austell, Georgia. The victims, a male driver and his female passenger, recounted the harrowing experience of being rear-ended at a red light before the offending vehicle sped away callously. Because he stopped at a stoplight. Which way did he go when he turned this he way? He just kept on going down. Y'all tried chasing him? Yeah, he ran around, he ran around the, the side of lines. Okay. You know, uh... Quick thinking. The driver pursued the person responsible while the passenger managed to capture a photo of the license plate for evidence. Got it. 15, 3, 23. Another 28 when you're not 10, 6. You know, I feel like I can... Got it. Romeo Papa, India. 5387 RPI 5387. Looks like it's going to be displayed on a black forerunner. It's going to be the suspect vehicle that left. Diligent officers used the tag information to locate the suspect's address. It's a, uh. It's go for They have a Powder Springs address. Clear. See if it's Powder Springs or Cobb's jurisdiction. See if they can go to that address and see if they've made it home yet. Make contact and identify. Hey, look, come here, girl. Could y'all see who was driving? Nah, we couldn't. At I all? Mean, it was, we were literally at the stop sign. Right. The stop light, and he just, bang, and then just, just kept on going all the way to the right. And then we just like, okay, no way. <laughs> well, know? he lives in Powder Springs, which is that way. Oh, perfect. So he's going home, and we're having the corresponding jurisdiction go to his house. So wherever he lives, he should have made it there by, ta- by this time. Can we just probably keep going? Yeah, more probably- than likely. More than likely, he's, he's just going straight home. For whatever reason, we'll find out in a minute. Um, let me get... She's, she's the registered owner? Yeah, she okay. is. Okay, and you were driving? Yeah. Do you have your ID on you? And what I'll do is I'll get y'all a case number, and then we will get all of that person's information, and he will go to jail tonight. Or she. Who? Her? He or she. No. Oh, oh No, he or she, guy. as in, yeah, <laughs> as in the person who hit y'all. Hey, listen to me. Oh, listen to me. Yeah. First thing, y'all want medical here. You want to get medical here? Okay. Just to just to look at you. It's just fire come out there and look at you. That's fine. You want them out? Yeah, you can bring them out. Cause it, was right. from the, it was hit from the back. I mean, I don't even, I don't know. I don't even, I don't know. I just, I don't even feel, I don't even feel comfortable here. You, you fine, just relax. Yeah, if it, yeah. if we're going around, if we're if we're going, cause we're following him, cause wait, did he we, wait, he hit you before that? Yeah, he hit us way before before we went around this curve on this street right here. He hit us, right. We, we the light turned red. Okay. We slowed down. He hit us, and then it turned like it turned green, and then he he made that. At the Arby's. At the Arby's. After the Arby's. After. after. Okay. Like so Humphreys Hill. Like, okay. And then we, he turned, and then we turned right after him, and then we came okay. down this road. Okay. So you're saying you passed the Arby's and all that. Mm-hmm. And you come to the red light at the next red yeah, light, like and it's light red. red and we were down to the then it turned green to turned go, green, and he, he hits turned, you. He hit us, he turned, and then we turned right after him, and we came Okay, to okay. That might have been, uh, I, it has to be west side. Yeah. Because yeah. if they're slowing down, Stop. and they hit him, he, turn, he, he turn, takes a right so to hit yeah. this road. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We got an idea where medical's coming, just to, just to check. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now we have an idea where it happened. Let me take photos. And then we've got, like I said, the other jurisdictions going to the guy's house, which is that way. And um, if they see the vehicle and can make contact with the people, we're going to go over there. Okay. All right. And then it'll be a bullshit game that we play that, hey, we know you were in the car. We know you're driving. We got to tag your plate. Mm -hmm. Who wants to come forward? And then they'll be arrested. Okay. Okay. Um, But their car does have insurance. Okay. So that's going to completely cover everything. Okay. All right. Because y'all's video saved the day. Y'all did great. I know. They, and they're going to pay for everything and if not more. Trust me. 
There you go. The officer gathered statements from the victims and took pictures of the damage for the report. Emergency medical services promptly arrived to assess the well-being of the shaken occupants, ensuring they were unharmed. All right, man, it sounds like she's a little more upset, so I'm going to explain this to you. I think he already did. This is the case number. Okay. Just give me about three to five business days, and she can come pick up the report. I'd go ahead and look, have her call her insurance company when she gets home okay, and right. start the claim. Yeah. Okay, so she, you, you would suggest she start a claim with her company? Yeah, just go ahead and start the claim and give them the basic information. Okay. And, I mean, you got the tag number, so you can give them their tag number, too. Okay. And just say that we're working on the rest, but that everything will be done in about three to five business days. Okay. All right? If you got any questions, that's my name, badge number, and the phone number's on thank the bottom. You for, thank you for being here. Sure, of course. Yeah, right? I just needed a water. <laughs> it's clear. It is water. Nah, not hitting that specific spot. Yeah, it should be fine. Yeah, there's no reason. It's got to be AC because it did. That's not enough to cause anything up here. I've never seen my car do that. Before. Yeah. If if you feel I mean if you feel nervous about it, just go park it at the house and get it checked out in the morning. But if y'all feel like you need to go to the hospital, I'd do that too. Even if you got to take yourselves and don't want the ambulance ride, because ultimately you know you know you said you know his his stuff his or her stuff's gonna pay for it. All of it. But I, don't, I know how, the, how packed the hospitals are, and I really yeah. don't want to waste nobody's time. Like, I know I'm okay. Like, yeah. Just on my car. On my car, to be fine. You ain't going to waste nobody's time, but it's better to be safe than sorry, because he said his back's hurting. So I, and it, it's going to cover him, too. All of his medical expenses. All right. Will my insurance cover it, even though I wasn't driving? Duh. Are you full? Insurance. Are you full? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Then yeah. You allowed him to drive and you were in the car. You're fine. Plus, it's not your insurance that's covering yeah. shit. It's his. Or so, hers. So, like I told him, I mean, she'll tell you exactly when, but probably Friday, by Friday, come get the accident report. And the person's insurance to be on there. You don't have to go through your insurance. Mm -mm. You can contact oh. their insurance. And their okay. insurance will take care of everything. Okay. okay? So, you don't even have to deal with your insurance. Okay. It doesn't matter who's driving. He hit you. Right. You contact his insurance and okay. based on the accident report, it'll be so yeah, um, that's not an issue. And then what what police uh which station did I do I go to? He's got my card, just because okay. you were upset. It's got the phone number and the address. Okay. Just type it into the GPS and you'll be good to go. Okay. Perfect. So y'all don't have to stay anymore. You got everything you need. Okay. And you guys can head home. Okay. Um and you said by Friday the latest? At the latest. Just give, give a call to that phone number and say, Hey, you know, this is my name. I was in an accident. Is my report ready? Okay. Because I'll have it done tonight, but it's, you know, the sergeant's got to prove it. Gotcha. So make sure they say, yes, it's ready, and come pick it up. And you've got everything you need for the insurance company. Okay, no problem. All right. Uh, Any more questions? I, I definitely appreciate of it. Of course. Of course. Well, if you need anything, just give that call a number. We'll be here till 6 a.m. at least. Okay. No Collaborating with authorities from another jurisdiction, they deployed to the suspect's location uh, in search right. of both the vehicle and its driver. Later that day, the officer received notification Good, that the suspect and vehicle had been located, prompting her to drive to the location to conduct further investigation. Just go? Okay, where's the car at? Is it this one or the opposite side? Okay. He was he was inside the vehicle? Yeah, he was like, I think he just had pulled in. Okay, that makes sense. I got approached at 4805 Austell Powder, and they were freaking out and they had a video. Uh, when you got out of the car, I definitely smelled marijuana. Okay. Um, and he also picked himself a little bit. Awesome, so he's probably DUI too. As bad as we hate it too, because I understand how it goes, we had to place him in handcuffs because he was not compliant. He was being like completely uncooperative, he was trying to get away or trying to move. Okay. But he was in the front seat whenever. Yeah. 
Y'all got here? Okay. And you said the car was still running? Yeah. My mom turned it off. As soon as you opened the garage, turned it off. Okay. Upon inspection, officers discovered the suspect's vehicle bearing telltale signs of the collision, with blue paint matching the victim's car. Oh yeah. There we go. Blue paint transfer and everything. No firearm on him, right? Nah, I'm just, there's a, a magazine and a 40 caliber bullet in the car. With a little piece that you bolt to it and it'll rack it for you. Officer wasted no time in explaining the severity of the hit and run offense, promptly placing him under arrest. No, uh-uh. I didn't say get out. Put your foot back in. Okay. So, I'm going to read you this real quick. All right? Uh, first off, is there anybody else inside? This is my house. This is my that, house. That's not what I asked you. Is there anybody else inside? My, I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure. My wife was on her way back from, from out of town. I'm okay. not sure if anybody's in there. Okay. So, here's what we're going to do. Okay? I'm going to yeah. read your Miranda warning because right now I have enough to put you under arrest for... Uh, hit and run, okay? That car that you hit, the blue paint transfer that's on the front end of your car on the passenger front end, all right, matches the same paint that I got flagged down about on Austell Powder Springs. Okay, so just listen to this real quick, okay? Don't speak until I get done talking. All right, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you are being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any question. Like, never... If you wish, you can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. I, like, I've, I've never, like, this is, I, I, I don't, Do you understand each of these rights that I have explained to you? Yes, ma'am. You guys okay. are on my private property. Listen, and... having these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to us now? Yes, ma'am. Like... Okay, so why did you run when you hit that car? I honestly, I honestly... I have a video before we lie, so just be honest. I honestly, I honestly was trying to get home, and okay. I, I and, and, and it was a mistake. Okay. Like, I... So you realize if you would have stayed, we probably could have avoided everything. Yes, ma'am, like... Okay. Of course, like, this is my house, like, I'm not trying... I, I understand, but when you hit a car and you leave and you don't stay for police... That is against the law. Yes, ma'am. I understand that. And I honestly, and I, and, and it was a mistake. Okay. And I didn't realize that I, that I did that. And, and I've never been arrested before. Like, this is my house. I understand. Like, I. How, how do you think, why do you think we came to your house? Because we knew where you lived. They took a video of your tag. Uh, I, I, That's how. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure, yes. Like, I, I. I made a mistake. Like okay. I, I'm very sorry. Like I've never gotten in trouble before. Like I. I know, but we, we have more than one issue. One I can't prove because I didn't see you in the car and you were already parked. One is DUI, so you're gonna get a huge break on that. Okay, but I can smell the alcohol on your breath and the marijuana in the car. Both of those are driving under the influence. Okay. So. I've never been in trouble before. I like, understand. I made, a, I made a mistake. I got you. I, I made and it's a, mis a mistake that we are going to make sure counts. So you are under arrest for hit and run. I, I, okay. I, did, I did it. Okay, great. Fine, fine, fine. Well, sit back down. Sit back down. I have a canine in my car, so I'm waiting on my transport officer to get here. Like, I don't uh, understand. I have like, one on the I, way. I, if she's oh not here God. in a few minutes, then <laughs> we'll go ahead and do it if he gets rowdy. I'm not, trying to, get, I'm not trying to get. I'm okay. sure I'm, I'm okay. really, I'm so really not trying to get. I'm really. I'm really not. Sit down. Sit down. Come on. I'm not let's trying to seated. get rowdy at all. I know like, you're not, but let's sit back down in the seat, car. Have a seat. There you okay. Go. Is there anything on you that's going to get you in trouble? Yeah. Like I have. I I do have some. Like bro, come on. You got some weed. That's it. Yes. Okay, like I don't care about that. This is my house. Like I've never been in. I know. It's in my back pocket. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, let's get it then. I've never been in trouble before. In this I know, man. I'm gonna get your license too. Fuck. Just leave it. This is my right, house. Sit back like, down. I've never like. Go for it. Oh, man, Ten like, fifteen. Ridiculous. All right, as of right now, we're putting seatbelts on the switch cars, okay? <laughs> Crazy, man. This is my house. Two oh six ETA. He's becoming twenty seven. Is there anybody else home? I just yelled, I'll still police, nobody answered, so. Door it was unlocked, we just secured it, so we gotta figure out about this one. Hello, Power Springs. 
Is home? Okay, so yeah, that's the mail register owner. Is he drunk or? Yeah, but we won't be able to prove that because he was already parked at his house. Vehicle's on still, but he could have been like, I parked here and chugged the. We, you know, whatever. 23 radio. So we'll just close the door and I'll see if I can make contact with his wife via the 27s. Temple, just call her back, leave a voicemail. Advise her she can call the police department if she has any questions. All right, man, here's what's gonna happen, okay? Hey, let me talk to you for a second. I'm just gonna talk, okay? I'm gonna take you back to my PD. You're being charged with hit and run. And you've got your wallet, your cell phone. I've got your little gummy package. If you wanna bond yourself out, you're more than welcome to bond yourself out once we get there, okay? All right. Off the top of my head, I'm not sure. As soon as we get back, I and I get you. Take a piss, bro. Like I, I honestly. Like, I mean, this is my house. Like I no, always quit moving before I not take him off at all. Yes, sir. Unfortunately, you have to wait till you get down to Austin. Right. Let me see your other hand. Let me see other hand. Not done. Let me make sure this is a the one, man. I do not want to hurt your wrist. No one's home, man. Of course, I'm going to get my big handcuff key. I got it. I got my little one. The little one works good, too. So. All right. Unfortunately, no. I'll try and get back to mine, my PD as quick as possible. Uh, either side is fine. It does not really matter. Alright, stand you sit however you need to to be comfortable. goes in your property. Got my wallet. I do have your wallet. I got your cell phone also. That I'm not sure. I, like I said, we got to get back to my department. I got to get you pre-booked in and then I got to look at the price on, on that ticket. I don't have keys. I will say that. I do not have keys. Honestly, I don't know. I know? I don't know. Um, I just grab random cars. If you want to, hold this and I'll get on the other side. All right, cool. I know. I, like I said, I'm gonna make this as quick for you as I can, okay? But you will have to call somebody to come get you. Huh? You'll have to call somebody at the PD to come get you. I don't even know. I don't have anybody to call. Like I just want to pay to get out of here. Okay, well, we'll call it. Can you call an Uber once you're out? Once you're bonded out? I can call an Uber. Okay, watch your knee, okay? Watch your knee for me. Before leaving the scene, officers made sure the small puppy had enough water to last until its owners returned. Cause I gotta head back to the PD anyway. I'm gonna get you some water, okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm cold for. Yeah, go ahead. He already peed on himself. Yeah. We're just trying to get the nails and stuff out of this dog's bed.
bed. Okay, baby. He was taken to the Austell Police Department. During the ride, he kept complaining that he needed to pee urgently. I've got your phone too, yes sir. Uh, I believe so. I believe so. They're making sure your dog is okay. Too. Because they didn't see any water for the dog, so I think that they're making sure the dog has water too. I'm getting back there as quick as I can, sir. I do, I understand. I know. I'm trying to get back there as quick as I can, sir. I know, I know. I've never been arrested in my life. And I have to pee and I'm sitting here peeing on myself. This is ridiculous, bro. Like, if I hit something, I hit something. Mm, I literally have to pee. I know. I'm so I'm sitting sorry. I'm peeing on myself. It's ridiculous. He couldn't wait any longer and ended up urinating on himself before they reached the police station. Keep it on the wall, same way with this one once it comes out of the cup. Black man, I've never arrested before in my life. Yo, like, yo, yo, you need to calm down. 